our very own Letters and Numbers talk show, where the studio lights are up, the mic is on, and our alphanumeric interviewees are in the chair, ready to chat words and sums. And no talk show is complete without superb sidekicks, the ever-questioning Lily Turner. Hey, Richard. And our very own David Letterman. <laughs> David, that's all. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. Hey, Richard, you've done a fair few interviews in your time. Um, any memorable ones you want to share with us? Oh, look, lots of memorable ones. I've been very lucky to talk with some really interesting people. But I guess um, two that really stick in my mind as just a complete delight. Many, many years ago, I had the chance to interview Sir David Attenborough, mm. who, who had been a, a hero for a long time for his natural history program. And uh, only a couple of years ago now, um, I interviewed on stage John Cleese, ah, who is just a brilliant mind. He's just a fascinating man, as well as being very funny. So, yeah, yeah they were memorable ones. But now, you've done lots of, lots of interviews uh, in your journalistic persona, haven't you, David? I have. Uh, lots of sports uh, players, uh, lots of celebrities. But uh, the one that really sticks in my mind is actually, uh, it was a couple... Uh, they lived in Mount Macedon, actually, in Victoria. Graham and Pink, and they were blind, and they had four children. Just remarkable story that they told me, and I felt very privileged to hear their story and then to reproduce it on the page. It's just great to be able to talk to people sometimes when they don't deliver what you expect. Mm, that's right. Fascinating stuff, and we'll try and deliver what people don't expect tonight. The hot topic of conversation tonight, of course, our contestants, starting with our carryover champion, back for her fourth night, retired school teacher Anne Russell. Welcome back, Anne. Thank you. Now, four nights, and there have been some interesting strategies so far. You know, there's the evil washing line yes. mix. Um, any other strategies you've been trying out? Um, well, I suppose I do, like most people, with the letters, I look for prefixes and suffixes and hope that that'll lead me somewhere. And with the numbers, I probably look for combinations that lead to 100 and, and or 10 and then hope that that will lead me to a solution as well. And we do know that you know your 75 times tables. Yes, absolutely. That's when I'm not doing my 75 times tables. Yes. <laughs> Rock solid. Good luck again tonight, Anne. Thank you. And tonight's challenger is management consultant James Cooper. Hello, James. Hi, Richard. Now, here, it's an environment of, of tough competition, but that will be no novelty to you because I know that you have played... Ultimate Frisbee. <laughs> Tell us about that sporting competition. Yeah, that's correct. Look, it's not the most mainstream of sports, but it's a great sport and it's one I really enjoy playing. Uh, and, and, and is it played, like, really seriously? It is played fairly seriously. We play seven aside on a pitch shaped like an American football pitch with two end zones. The object of the game is to advance the disc into the end zone without running with it. So lots of uh, running about, jumping and diving all over the place. No flying objects tonight, though. <laughs> Welcome and good luck to both of them, carryover champion Anne Russell and challenger James Cooper. <laughs> Let's speak the language of letters now. First game of the night, and uh, Anne, choose away, please. A consonant, please. Sure. Let's start with L. And another one. S and a vowel. A and another vowel. I and a consonant. M and another consonant, R and a vowel, E and a consonant, D and a vowel, please. And to finish, A. Thank you, Lily. First thinking time. For the night, Anne, how did you go? A six, thank you. James? I'll try risky seven. We like a little bit of risk taking. And your six, first day? Mailed. And your seven? Mailers. Mailers, okay. Now, Mailer, we know, was a great American novelist with a capital M, but is there Mailer with a small m? And Mail, there is not, which actually surprises me as well, James. Uh, I think I would have been caught out by that had I been a contestant. Not listed. We do need to use the House Dictionary as our authority. So it takes us back to you, Anne, with your word. Mailed. Mailed. 
ironically, is uh, the better for, for being listed. Six points. Now, I saw realism in the first seven and then went out on a further limb with admirals, which is a word we had in the word story not so long ago for eight. A good find, David, but uh, a good start for Anne, six points. Bad luck to James. James, your first chance to choose some letters now. Can I have a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with S. And another? T. And a third? R. And a vowel, please? E. Another vowel? I. A third vowel? U. Uh, I'll have a consonant, please. C. Another consonant? S. Final consonant, please. And to finish, N. Here's our clock. Troubles with Stripe, it's a good six, well played, and uh, I found Sister in there, Richard, C-I-S-T-E-R-N, for seven. Good work, David, and another six points for Anne. First numbers coming up now. Our contestants have up to six numbers, the basics of maths, and just 30 seconds to generate the target number. Now, Anne, you seem to have been dangerous with the numbers over the last uh, few nights. You've done quite well, but you've asked for some outrageous mixes. Yes, I have, but I'm going to go very safe tonight and I'm going to go the family mix, please. Thanks, Anne. That's too large and four small. And our numbers. Six, seven, five, eight, and the two large, 50 and 75. The target to reach is 417. Let's chase it. Nice work. Just two away, James. 417. 417 right on the target. That's what we like to hear. Take us there, please. So 5 times 75 is 375. 5 by 75 is 375. Plus 50 is 425. Plus 50 is 425. Minus, minus the 8 is 417. 417. Oh, lovely work. Well done, James. You would have enjoyed that, Lily? Yeah, it was great. And um, actually, at this point, you're 42 away, so you can also multiply 6 by 7 and add that on. That's another nice method. Was that the one that you used? Yes. Very nice work, but uh, a very useful 10 points for James. So he's now on the scoreboard with 10 and just two points ahead on 12 as we head for our first break. Your word mix this time, Amaze Gin. And the clue can be filled with bullets or pages. Back after the break. 